This camper here is a uh, 2005 Forest River Sandpiper. It's 34 feet. It's got two slide outs. This is a 50 amp service. It is a Four Seasons camper. I'll walk around the outside of it and show it to you. And we'll go ahead on the inside. Uh, this front here is a, is a little faded out and the decals are uh, they're, they're not in perfect shape, but they're not in horrible condition. There is no damage on the outside of the camper at all. It's actually pretty nice. Like I said, it's got two slide outs. It's got a real big, uh, huge pass-through storage compartment. And you can see it's got a spare tire and wheel there. Uh, that tire's never been on the ground. Anyway. Awning is in fair condition. No rips or tears in the awning. Uh, however, when it's rolled up, you can see right along this edge uh, when it's closed that it's starting to fray a little bit. Uh, the roof is in very good condition. This has the alloy wheels and tires. And like I said, overall it's 34 feet, uh, two slide outs. It is a rear living room model. And I'm going to do my best to get around it here and show it to you. Like I said, uh, decals, as far as the outside, it's probably the only thing that you can say negative about this camper. And I'll try and get close up to it, and you can see what I mean. The sun does, uh, does more damage than anything to these. Here we go. You can see how it's faded out. Like I said, it is a 50 amp service, and this does have the big 10 gallon gas and electric hot water heater. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take you on the inside of this 2005 Sandpiper. As we go inside, you see your screen door's in good condition. i go ahead and walk up in here and let you get a good look at it. You see you have linoleum in the entranceway. Now there is a stain in the carpet and there's a couple chairs back here. These are rocking chairs and they swivel. Uh, from what I understand, uh, this was an ink pen that the previous owner had a dog and the dog chewed up the, the pen and, and you know what happens after that. Other than that stain in the carpet, the rest of this camper is very, very nice. It has a real nice uh, countertop. It's very clean. Now you can replace, uh, there's not much carpet in here, you can replace the carpets in here for not a lot of money at all, uh, probably a couple hundred dollars. This is a nice sofa bed, uh, you have a table and four chairs, and then you can see the center kitchen, lots of room, you could put some nice recliners here, these are not the chairs that came with this camper originally, uh, somebody stuck them in there, uh, I personally don't like them very much, but they're in fair condition and they do the job. Uh, you can easily put two recliners back here. Uh, you see this has all the day night shades. All the day night shades are in good condition. Very high ceilings. There is a ceiling fan. Uh, there's your entertainment stand. Again, your table and four chairs. And let me, let me continue to walk through here. Nice double basin stainless steel sink. I'm struggling with that cutting board. Anyway, there's your stove and microwave. It's very clean. The stove is immaculate. Uh, it doesn't look like it's really ever been used. Nice double door refrigerator. Lots of pantry space. Lots of drawers in the storage compartment. There's your concert tone. Uh, AM FM stereo. And let me walk up here to the the bedroom area. This has a real nice bedroom. You have a door here that slides across and when we go up in the bedroom the ceiling height is excellent in this unit. I'm six foot three and my head's nowhere near the ceiling. You have a big corner shower here. Very clean and very good condition. Here's your vanity and medicine cabinet. Uh, queen size bed. Lots of dresser drawers. And like I said all these day night shades are in excellent condition. Uh, you have another television back here that kind of slides out of that closet. Then you have the wardrobe cabinet there. 
Uh, no water damage in this camper. It's in very good condition. Uh, it is equipped with a second air conditioner up here. And here's your controls. Uh, again, it is a 50 amp camper. And when you have a 50 amp camper, you usually you have one of these. There's your washer and dryer combination unit that washes and dries. Uh, there's also plenty of room if you wanted to put a stackable unit in there. And then, last but not least, uh, your commode. That's your commode closet. Plenty of room. Plenty of uh, headspace. You can see you got the wood laminate flooring, carpets. Everything's very clean. It just has that one stain in the carpet in the back. All the walls are in excellent shape. All the cabinets are in excellent shape. It's a very big camper. It's got a real nice big feel because of the high ceilings. Really, I mean, the ceilings in here got to be nine feet high. I'm reaching up as high as I can, and uh, it's just got real high ceilings. It's, it's a nice rig. Anyway, my name is George. My phone number will be in the ad. If you want to come take a look at this 2005 Keystone, or I'm sorry, Forest River. Let me correct myself. This is a Forest River Sandpiper, 34 feet, and it weighs just under 10,000 pounds. Uh, just give me a call. My phone number will be in the ad. Thank you for watching my video.